Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we'll be discussing about the pluggable database in Oracle 19C. Many people, uh, not people actually, they are my subscriber. They are asking me, why not you create the video based upon the Oracle 19C? So this is the time where I'm creating the Oracle 19C based upon the new features basically. Okay, so you know uh, how to connect to the pluggable database in the multi tenant architecture. When you do the command like SQL plus slash as a CDP, by default you will get connected with the CDP dollar root. But if you want to connect to the pluggable database, you need to specify the username, password and the service name. Lot of stuffs we need to provide. Basically a password we need to specify. But do we have something, you know, through which you can directly connect to the pluggable database without specifying the password? If you are asking me, then yes that is there in oracle 19c it is possible how it is possible to connect to the oracle 19c pluggable database without specifying the password that i will tell you but for that you need to subscribe my channel you know all my videos are practically you know i will not tell you about the stories only i like the stories but along with the stories if you have the practical stuff then it is almost a good thing so if you want to learn the oracle database practically definitely you can contact me all the contacts you can get it into the description section and if you think that uh, we are doing a great work we are giving the inspiration to the fresher student who's want to start a career as oracle definite oracle dba definitely you can support us how to support us check the description thank you and let's go to my screen and let's see how you can connect to the oracle 19c database without specifying the password in Oracle 19C. Welcome back to my screen guys how I'm looking I know it's not too good but very soon I'll be purchasing one of the webcam but still there is some issue with my funds so I cannot do it right now I'm just waiting for the YouTube payment. <laughs> So if you want to support us, definitely we can, you guys can support us. Just check the, the description section. Now let's try to see how you can connect to the pluggable database directly without using the password. That is all possible. It was not possible earlier, but now it's possible. So how to do that? Normally the way, if I want to connect to the pluggable database, the normal procedure was like this, SQL plus, okay. Then there we need to provide the username. Let's say the username is system and then slash, forward that we need to specify the password let's say the system password is system password only okay at the rate then we need to specify the service name so what is that service name service name is basically your database name so the database name pluggable database name i'm giving it pdb prime this is the way you can directly connect to the pluggable database by providing the password but right now I don't want to put this password okay I don't want to put this password so how you can do this and directly connect to the pluggable database this is all possible guys but how let me tell you just hold on your bridge for some time so there is another uh, you can call it as a variable okay because when you set up the environment basically there are two types of variable we are setting it over here the first one is your oracle SID okay and the second one will be oracle home but starting from oracle 19c okay we have not checked it in 12c that is your wish if you want to check if you don't want to check then i'll tell you definitely so in 19c what i observe that there is another parameter that you can set just for the pluggable database if you directly want to connect to the pluggable database so what is that parameter let's see it over here so how to set the parameter export dollar oracle underscore pdb underscore sid equals to okay now here you need to specify the pluggable database name in this server i am having the pluggable database name as pdb prime okay if you just cross check whether that variable has been set up or not you can use the command like env env then grip okay and the variable name okay can you see prime pdb oh there is some problem okay let me do that one more time oracle pdb sid 
so export oracle pdb sid pdb prime okay i don't need to specify this dollar which is my mistake so i'm just removing it okay now let me try it can you see it over here yes that is working perfectly now let's me try to connect to the sql plus slash as a sysdb okay show connection underscore name to check where i am right now connected see i am connected with the container database only why let me show you show pdbs is a command to check the number of pluggable database what was the pluggable database name which i said pdb prime and what is the pluggable database name which we have right now it is prime pdb so what is the myth guys if you are specifying the parameter if you are specifying the oracle pluggable database name as wrong default it will connect it to the container database only here okay now let me try to give the right name of the pluggable database this is let me come back export oracle then pdb sid equals to then now let me try to sql plus slash as sysdb show connection underscore name can you see i am directly connected with the prime pdb even though i have not specified anything and i just put the command as sql plus as as a sysdb okay so this is how you can connect to the pluggable database without specifying the password and if you have any queries just let me know guys in the comment section definitely i'll be creating more and more videos as i promise i'll be creating more videos on the oracle 19c and the promise is here guys if you want to support us definitely you can support us you can check all the details into the description section and if you're looking for real-time database training definitely you can contact us bye bye see you again with the next video